Greetings. It's uh, Wednesday, April the 11th, I believe, today, uh, 2012, and we're at the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge, uh, East Anglia, and uh, we're at this kind of sculpture trail, sculpture promenade, I believe it's called. Um, I'd like to give you a really well-informed um, commentary on what this all is, but I haven't got the leaflet <laughs> with me at the moment, but um, it's a selection of sculptures, I believe, by two or three different highly influential and acclaimed uh, international sculptors. This one I particularly like because it's a kind of like a giant picture frame, and uh, as you can see it's very modern and, uh, and square. But it's got the lovely Fitzwilliam Museum building in the background. You can see it's a really beautifully fronted building. Anyway, this looks like a picture frame, and I'm going to see if I can... Well, I can't step through it, because that would involve walking on it, which children obviously do. Cambridge, of course, is a very attractive place. These are made out of marble, as I understand it. This looks like a giant pebble. Some people are sitting on it. And this one, I thought, looked like a giant Easter egg, like in an Easter egg hunt. A huge piece of marble, and uh, to the touch, a really lovely smooth surface, just beautifully polished. That's the Easter egg. Then there's a selection of different sculptures over there that may or may not be angels. Um, and then up here, there are two imposing lion, well these are just part of the building, lion sculptures. A little bit reminiscent of the, uh, the lions at Trafalgar Square. And they're just coming round here, you'll now see the colonnaded, I don't know what you'd call it, sort of neoclassical or something, frontage of the uh, Fitzwilliam Museum, uh, which is one of those really lovely buildings and that looks particularly attractive against the, the sky and the clouds. Um, so lovely um, for people who live in a place like this. The entrance to the museum is free as I understand it. So that's another bonus and plenty of things to see and do inside. That's the, uh, the top there and then you can see each of the um, uh, columns has got those embellishments at the top and some quite intricate stonework there as well and the steps leading up and down. I'm just going to come across the front of the museum now because uh, the sculpture promenade continues down these steps to what looks like a collection of sort of hedgehog type sculptures uh, that looks like another egg, but uh, there are these things that are a little bit hedgehoggy. These very textured surfaces. This one's my favourite because that just looks like a little creature or a little uh, fruit or something. Another one there, and then three more here. And of course, around the corner, once you get past these, there is the uh, ubiquitous little coffee area there, which uh, we may or may not stop at later. The North Lawn Cafe. So, um, I'll just go back here and you can just get an overview once again of the front of the museum. That's uh, the Fitzwilliam Museum, Cambridge, April 2012, at the Sculpture Promenade. <laughs>